Today's mission is a hike up Mount Little Pehu. I'm currently at the top of Bruce and I'm about to head up to the snow line, I think is the plan. I'm not really sure how far we're going to get. My plan was to go to the summit today, but it's a lot more snow here than what I thought there was going to be. So it's going to be a hike up as far as we can go and then run down with a bit of luck. I'm trying out a couple of new bits of gear. One is the new instant backpack that I'm going to use in my Africa multi day stage race. And the other one is the shirt that I'm wearing from Selmy, which is a ventilated long sleeve shirt. And the other thing is a brand new pair of Selmy recoil trails, which I just picked up this morning. I put them on my feet before I went for a very short walk, and uh, wow, they feel amazingly light. They're about 307 grams in my size, and they're uh, really comfortable in the half a kilometer that I've come so far. So we're one kilometer in, I don't know how far up, there's um, 13 minutes for the first K, so we're not steady and cracking pace, should still feel good, it's an absolutely gorgeous day, we've got Narahoe over there, an absolute stunner, no wind, it's about 12 degrees, started off about minus two really this morning, so peaceful up here, yeah it looks like I might get a little bit further than what I originally thought, maybe four Ks? Pour up, pour down. So that's two kilometers. And we're into the white stuff already. Just bumped into some nice people who said it should be a piece of cake to go to the summit today. So we'll see how that goes. They had ice picks and stuff like that, helmets and things. So a bit more well equipped for that kind of behavior than what I've got. So probably still on, erring on the side of caution. Really grippy in the snow. I'm <laughs> not sure that's what they're meant for, but they're working really well. In terms of grip on hard, dry rocks, they feel beyond just grippy, they feel sticky, um, which gives you a heck of a lot of confidence. I'm pretty stoked, and the turning out's uh, really comfortable as well. But um, yeah, really nice and soft across the tongue area and around the heel cup and uh, not tight around the toes no hot spots so yeah I feel really good we're almost at the cafe now we're heading up to the top of the Knoll Ridge uh, chairlift this bit's had a snow groomer on it this morning but look at that it's quite easy walking maybe just go to the top of this Chair lift it and then reassess. Currently at 3.2 k's. The map said 5 k's to the summit. <sighs> Man, it's unreal up here. Oh, and I can see a bunch of people up behind me. You probably won't be able to see them over there who are looking like they're hiking to the top. So, so far, my feet are bone dry. So that's one of the big things when I was getting up here and finding that the toes were going to freeze, but so it seems pretty safe to walk on. So I'm just going to keep going while I can until it uh, starts to look sort of dangerous or dodgy. So I've been calling this the Knoll Ridge Chairlift. I think it's the Knoll Ridge Chiba. Wow, <laughs> I'm just blown away by this place. Might as well run this bit. A little bit of downhill. I feel we head on up to the uphill. I feel a little bit weary about going up there. Turns out I've actually come the wrong way. There's a much better track down over there. <laughs> it uh, seems to be where all the people are going. Wow. We are 4.7 k's in. So I'm guessing we would be at about 3,000 meters at this point, maybe a little bit higher. The guy just told me that um, the ice is sort of broken through and it's going to get less icy as the day goes on, which is good news, until it gets late in the afternoon and it starts to freeze again. I don't intend to be here at that point. Uh, maybe another 45 minutes or so. 5.3 k's in. It's starting to get a little bit icy now, so I'm just you know, a little bit wary. Gorgeous. Hiya. Wow. 
couldn't be anything but happy, could you? As far as I want to go and trail shoes, that's for sure. If you look over behind, you can see uh, Mount Taranaki. So we're in the centre of the North Island, the widest point in New Zealand, and you can see the westernmost point. It's pretty amazing. You can see Lake Taupo and uh, almost a Napier. So the descent is a bit more runnable. Just digging the old heels in as we go down here. Been extra careful though because go for a bit of a spool pretty quickly. Seven K so far and the run down this has been amazing. It's like running down a screw slope, a big sand gym. Unreal. Five and a half minute K's. Super good fun. I think I picked a one in a million day to be fair, and that's just really by accident. I've got to say, I don't recommend that people do this, and not by any stretch of the imagination saying go do this in trial running shoes. There's a lot of people looking at me a bit weird, like I'm a bit mad, so probably very lucky to get this day. Probably only one or two days a year you'll be able to do this, so do your own research, don't do it on my recommendation. Back down at the cafe. It didn't take very long at all. A lot faster than it was on the way up, that's for sure. Well, that was one of the most amazing missions I've ever done. Absolutely stoked to get uh, up near the top. What a fantastic day. So, um, just quickly reviewing the gear. So, the uh, top and the t shirt combo. Uh, was fantastic. The vented sleeves were brilliant. Um, didn't have to pull my sleeves up getting too hot. Um, yeah, just a perfect combo. Um, and this backpack is <coughs> unreal. It's just so good to run in. It hugs on really nice and uh, tightly and I hardly even knew it was there. Just going to work really well for what I want to do. Um, and the shoes, the Selming Recoil Trails. Wow, I think I've got a new favourite shoe. They've just been absolutely amazing to stick a pair of shoes on straight out of the box and then run uh, three hours up a hill like that and a whole heap of descending, um, no issues with the toes and things on the way down, 100% uh, comfortable and the grip is just absolutely sensational. So um, I think I'm on the right track in terms of shoes for the old Ghost Road and for the Four Rangers Ultra in September next year. Well, maybe these ones because I'll be worn out by then, but yeah, absolutely fantastic day. Thrilled with all the gear, thrilled with the mission and now for um, 40 hours of recovery according to the government. Well, it's on the river crossing. Here we go, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. So far, we've counted buses heading out, having dropped people off with a capacity of about probably 300 people so they're all in front of me it's already been one injury just about give it a rolled ankle that's about half a kilometre gorgeous day obviously so the place is chocker there were three k's in I think I've passed about a thousand people so far. So today's mission, uh, day two of the Tongariro National Park mission, was to do the summit of this one here, uh, Mount Tongariro, and while we're in the neighbourhood, this one here, Mount Narahui. That'll be the first one we get up to the saddle, just up there, and then head right see how far I get. It'd be a little bit like yesterday's mission. Just uh, give it a try, see how we go. If it gets too ridiculous then uh, I'll just turn around. There's no point trying to be a hero. We might have a bit of a change of plan. I'm up on the uh, into the crater now. The um, sign that used to tell you how to get up Narahui seems to be gone. I have heard there's possibly a Rahui on 
mountain. Uh, it might be a couple of hours, which would be pretty cool, but um, not essential to do. Well, so up at uh, Red Crater, over there behind me, this is just such a beautiful spot. Um, now a hui over there behind us. Taranaki in the distance. Tanariro summit over there. You can see uh, the track going up there and a couple of people on it. It's cool. Summit number two, on the top of Mount Tongariro. It's been a nice couple from Holland up here. Um, other than that, got it all to myself, which is very, very cool. This is a pretty special place. Pretty privileged to be here, to be fair. Reporting in on the pack, it's been um, unreal again. Really, really happy with it. So comfortable. Got quite a bit of weight on, but it still feels um, not too bad to carry. The shoes have been fantastic. The Selming Recoil Trails. Uh, there's been a bit more mud today, and they've just been wicked through there, still really comfortable. So I've done a total of five hours in them so far. Yeah, just feel like a glove on my foot. And using poles today, which is something new for me, but I'm a bit of an amateur, really, in terms of how to use them. But um, yeah, they work really, really well. I'm saving my legs, that's for sure. And the top, same top as I had on yesterday, a bit smellier, but um, working really well, just the right temperature. The ventilated sleeves are working great. So, soaked with everything. I have been a total of two hours almost exactly to get up here um, so I'm going to head back down the same way and then turn off at the Maniapopo hut and head back across to Whakapapa. down the bottom now, we've done 16 and a half k's so far, we've sort of come past the last people now and um, there's no one around, it's just perfectly quiet and just gorgeous, shoes are good, backpack's good, shirt's good, life's good. Track back to Fakapap village now. I guess I'm about a k in, sort of nine k track. It's a good uh, test of these shoes. Get rid of that some good, good soft dirt and stuff now. Ooh. And a few creek crossings and stuff like that. That's something a little bit different. Um, probably got another hour and a half to go across to here, and we will be done. <laughs> Oops. You know, I have run out of water essentially. It's not that big of a deal with only four k's to go, but I'm going to fill up just because I can. This is the first creek that I've found that's actually got flowing water on it, so take the opportunity to fill the flask and then uh, push on for the final leg. That's just about a wrap on this weekend of funsies out on the trails of National Park. Uh, it's been absolutely incredible. I just love running in this area here. The scenery is just so good and uh, the trails are fantastic as well. So. Beautiful weekend, probably the nicest weekend I can remember in ages, so just struck it absolutely perfect. Yeah, so in terms of testing stuff and testing my legs and kind of dry run for bigger things to come, um, this worked out really, really well. Happy with all the gear that I've got so far. My legs have still got a bit of work to do, but um, we uh, have done uh, three hours yesterday and we'll be close to five today, so yeah, they don't really actually feel too bad. So, um, I'm not exactly stretching out and doing really fast k's for this last bit but that's okay I'm just staying in zone one two and uh, keeping it easy keeping the heart rate low and uh, building that base 
So yeah, if you found this video useful, like and subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, keep following on. There's more adventures to come uh, as we head toward the old Ghost Road and the Four Rangers Ultra in September next year. Over and out. Five minutes, it'll do me.